Let's be honest, we all love Etsy, Amazon, eBay, all of the marketplaces, but it's a little hard to get over the fact that at the end of the day, we don't own any of those platforms. And really at any time, any of those marketplaces could just change the algorithm or change the way the search works or add on additional fees or yes, even close your shop. That's why I always think it's a good idea to think long-term to build your brand with a website that you own and you have control of and you can manage the way you want. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to start an online store and show you the e-commerce website platform that I use. Coming up. Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, online seller, and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. Like I mentioned before, I do think Etsy and other online marketplaces are great places to start and to grow your business in the beginning because of the built-in audience and organic traffic that they bring. But I also do think it's wise to think of your business as your brand that reaches beyond Etsy and beyond eBay, whatever marketplace you're currently using. I've seen a lot of people that start on Etsy and then transition to their own website once they've gotten some traction. But the great thing is that I wanna share with you today, the website provider that I use, GoDaddy, actually can sync with Etsy, Amazon, on eBay, even Facebook and Instagram if you sell on those social platforms. And it can actually link up your shops so you can manage everything, including your own website, all under one roof. They really make it super simple and easy to do both if you're just not quite ready to give up your marketplace shop yet, but you want to grow your brand with your own online store. I do want to say a big thank you to GoDaddy for sponsoring today's video, and I'm super excited to dive in. I'm going to show you my website with GoDaddy. I'm going to show you the backend features of the website builder and all the steps in between. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is my website, and I just wanted something that was simple and clean and easy to navigate, and so I chose one of the GoDaddy templates that was available, and I'm super pleased with it. This is one of the templates that I just added some different sections on, so I just wanna show you real quick what I added. So of course, we have the name of my shop up here, and then this is a picture of one of my wreaths that I added. We have my little tagline. This gray is one of my brand colors, so I was able to input the brand colors, and then I love this little button right here so people can can click right there to shop if they are ready to hop to that section. Um, if you scroll down, I have my welcome message, and then I love this scrolling photo gallery. So you can add any type of photo gallery you want. I love that I can upload all my pictures and this automatically scrolls through um, or the buyer can click through to see the next picture, which I think is super neat. And then below that I have my shop section. So this is where people can actually click on my listings and purchase. Over to the left, it shows my shop categories and sections. And then you can also click here to change how you want to view the items. We'll leave it on most popular. And then below that, I have my About Us section talking about how we have handcrafted products, they're customizable and excellent customer service. Below that, we have our social section and over here we have a little chat bot where people can send us a question if they have something they want to chat me about. So that is the front page of my shop. I love up here, of course, that because it is an online store, people can search for the type of product they want, they can view their cart, they can click here to see their account or their orders. So I'm gonna hop over and show you on the back end of the website builder how I actually got to the point of having that website and show you the features that you can use to build your own on the website builder. So this is what the website builder looks like when you first click on it. Of course, I've already added some of my elements here. Um, so if you are a super new, like complete beginner, have no clue how to build a website like I did, um, you would want to click right here where it says next steps. I love that GoDaddy makes it super easy for complete beginners. So if you click here, it will give you a step-by-step -step guide and suggestions for what to do to actually build this step-by-step. -step. You can click get started. Um, you can just scroll through and see the different steps you want to do, but that is where you would click if you are just an absolute beginner, don't know what to do, or if you don't want to follow the steps, you can always just kind of play around with it and experiment with the different elements. So the basic layout is that this is what your website looks like, and you can click on a section to edit it. So if I click on this section, over here on the right are all the different elements of that section for me to play around with, to enter my own media, to change the colors, and all of the different things that I can customize. 
So as you see, as we scroll down and click on a section, what is showing up over here on the right changes depending on what section we are working on. So of course here, this is my photo gallery. I can choose a different layout. I can upload my gallery images up to 250 images. So I can literally just work through this section by section and customize as I go. Or I can start with the templates, which is actually what I did in the very beginning. So if you'd like to see the templates, which are super easy to work with, you click on theme, try a new look, and this will let you scroll through literally over a hundred easy templates in different styles. So once you have inputted some text and some pictures, um, like I have, you can scroll through and see what each of these templates would look like with your pictures and text. So let's say we want to try, let's look at this one. Let's say we like this. So we're going to select that template and it will automatically take your information that you have input and any pictures or media and update it to that template. Now let's say I want to change this section right here. I'm going to click on that cover media. I could input a different photo if I wanted. I could also use one of their stock images. They have a ton of stock photos. You can edit the theme colors. So let's say we want to put in our specific brand colors here. You can choose a color or you can actually input your specific hex code if you know the hex code for your brand colors. Um, once you've chosen a color, you would go down here and you can actually change it from light to dark theme, you can click through to see how it changes the look of the whole page from light to dark. So I love that there are so many ways to customize this to what you want. Let's leave it here and then let's look at the fonts. So I love that they have font pairings. So these are different suggestions of which fonts they offer that go well together. So you can literally just click one and see what your text would look like with that font pairing and choose one that you like. Okay, so let's say we're gonna choose this one and stick with that. Okay, and then down here we have buttons. So you see my shop wreaths button. There's a primary button and a secondary button. So let's look at the different styles for the buttons. You can choose square, you can choose one with a shadow behind, you can choose a rounded edge, you can choose any of these styles. And of course you can choose what you want the text to say on the button as well as where it leads. So wherever you want to have the customer go to when they click that. So that's all under the theme section right here. So now if we look over here on our main page, you can literally just click this little plus mark to add an extra section. So let's say we wanted to add a section between our photo gallery and our shop. I would click add section and then it would give me a whole list of different sections that I can add. So if you want to see what the most popular sections are, you can click there. That would be like the about me section, the contact us, photo gallery, social link, subscribe. They also have have an e-commerce uh, tab that shows you different e-commerce sections. Like you can add your online store there. You can add a PayPal button. You can offer gift cards. You could do an image gallery. Let's click this general and see. So here we have like a countdown timer. You can have a frequently asked questions section. I mean, there's just, it goes on and on and there's so many options, which is really cool. So it's super easy to just add and customize a section exactly where you want it. One thing I want to point out that's really neat too, is if you go up here to preview, it will take you to a page where you can see both the desktop version of the preview and the mobile version of the preview. So if you want to see what your website would look like on a mobile device, you can actually scroll down right here and it'll show you exactly what it would look like for someone looking at it on a phone. Okay, we're gonna click back over to edit site to continue our editing. Now this top right section over here says settings and this is your basic information for the settings of your site profile and your analytics and tracking. So of course, pretty soon after you start editing, you're gonna to wanna to fill in this information. This is your basic information, your social media links. This favicon is basically a little icon or a logo that you can choose to be your icon in the browser tab. You can click here where it says get found on Google to work on your SEO, which is your search engine optimization optimization. You can just click this button right here, start optimizing, and it will take you to the built-in SEO feature, which GoDaddy offers to help you figure out what keywords would be best for your website SEO and where to 
embed them in your website for optimal results. So once you have this filled out, let's click back over to website here. We're gonna look down here at our chat. So this gives your buyer the option to chat with you or ask you a question. When you click that, you can look over here and these are the different sections that you can customize for your chat. You can input a greeting message, which is the message that pops up when they first chat you. You can change the chat color. So let's say we wanted a different color to go with our branding. You can change the coloring of it. We can do a confirmation message, which is what the buyer will receive once they have submitted their question. But the one thing I want to really talk about is the chat bot, which is really cool. There are different chat bots, which are basic automatic messages you can set up to automatically reply to your buyer, depending on what they're asking. So you can have a hello bot. So that's an automatic hello response. And you can have an order bot, which automatically detects their order status questions and responds. If they've already placed an order, it'll give them the status of their order, any updates or information that they're asking for about their order. So not every chat will go directly to your inbox to respond to. The bots can actually take care of a lot of the responses if it's basic questions like that. Okay, so if we go back over here to website, we can come down here to the bottom right and click store. This will take us to our online store and let us create the settings for it. So once we're here, we're gonna click on commerce and come over to marketplaces and social. And this is where you will see the different marketplaces that can be linked with your GoDaddy shops. So let's say you already sell on Etsy or Amazon or eBay or even a social channel like Facebook or Instagram. If you already have that as a sales channel, you can literally click add sales channel and it will link it to to your GoDaddy shop so you can have it all under one roof. You can see here that I already have my Etsy shop connected to my online GoDaddy shop and I'm able to manage them both in the same place, which is amazing. You don't have to download any extra plugins. It's just built in and integrated into the GoDaddy online store. Now, once you have your shop connected, if you want to import your listings that are already existing on your marketplace, you could go to products, import, and then import your listings. So I've already imported mine from Etsy, but shows them all right here. And it imports all of the information and tells you exactly what sales channels these are showing on. Now, if you wanna edit these, you can do a quick edit like this and it'll pull up your listings and you can quickly go through and change certain things about each listing. You can change the name of it, you can add product options, you can click if you want it to be visible on your GoDaddy store or not, and you can choose the category you want it in. Now, talking about categories, I love this because it's similar to the Etsy shop sections, which makes it really easy for the buyer to navigate your shop. So if we go over to categories, we can add new categories right here. We can change the order of how they appear on the shop and we can add as many as we want and edit them. This just gives your shop some good organization and makes it really easy for the buyer to find exactly what they're looking for. Now, of course, we can't talk about an online store without shipping. So let's go to our shipping methods. This is where you can create your settings for any type of shipping profiles that you want to offer. So you would click here to add and go through your settings to be exactly what you want to offer for shipping. So you can offer free shipping, local delivery, in-person pickup. You can do calculated shipping. It's really up to you how many of these profiles you want to set up. And then if we come up here to marketing, there's a lot of really cool marketing tools that are built into the plan, but I wanna talk specifically about SEO and email marketing. So email marketing is where you can have an email address that's tied to your domain. So for instance, my domain name is weatheredfreedesigns.com and my email address that's tied to that is info at weatheredfreedesigns.com. And if we come up here to SEO, we can really take a deep dive into search engine optimization and it'll give us suggestions and steps for optimizing our shop to be found on Google. Now, of course, you can look at your payment settings also on the payments hub and the GoDaddy website and the online store comes with GoDaddy payments automatically built in so you can accept payments from all major credit and debit cards. You can see all your settings and your transactions and it's all for a really reasonable flat fee of 2.3% plus 30 cents per transaction. There's no hidden fees and it's super easy to use. So those are the basics. There's so many more options. There's so many fun things to play around with on the website builder, but hopefully that gives you just a very basic foundation and lets you see a little bit of what GoDaddy offers. So if you're interested in starting and building your own website, I'm gonna have the link in the description box below. You can just click on that, go sign up for your website and start playing around, experimenting and building your online store. If you found this video helpful, I would love if you would give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this on building and scaling your online business. And if you're interested and seeing another online store strategy video, just click or tap the square on the screen right now and it'll take you to another one just like this. Bye friends.